drills are one of the most commonly used tools in almost every trade. They can be mains or battery powered and can be fixed or variable speed. They can cut holes or attach or remove fastenings. Some drills use a hammer function to increase their impact on a surface. As the drill spins at a high speed, there are several safety issues in play. The possibility of drilling into yourself or entanglement while supporting the objects being drilled or fastened. The danger of flying debris into the eyes or the inhalation of particles. The possibility of cutting into or through utility services. And the risk of drilling into asbestos-containing material. Due to these potential hazards, a thorough risk assessment of the environment and the task needs to take place before commencing work. This may include a site inspection, job safety analysis, JSA, or a Take 5 pre-start check. Any person using a tool must have been instructed by a competent person and deemed to be competent in accordance with the safe operating procedure prior to commencing the task. The selection of a drill will depend on the task to be performed. Using the right drill and attachments will make the job easier and safer. Inspect the casing and attachments of the drill to establish that it is in good condition and free of defects. If using a corded drill, check the power cord for damage prior to use and examine the tag to ensure it is within test date. Ensure the bit is secure and the chuck is tightened prior to use. Drill bits must be sharp to be safe, and any additional fittings must be in good condition. And on any fixed drill, ensure the emergency stop is working. If there is any defect or damage to the tool or power lead, it must be tagged out and taken out of service. In any working environment, consideration of ventilation and space needs to be made before work can commence. Rubbish, obstructions and potentially flammable materials must be removed to minimise risk. Under no circumstances should you be drilling into any material you suspect to contain asbestos. Seek advice from a competent person if you cannot confirm the makeup of the material. If in doubt, don't drill into it. While using a drill, it is essential that you wear eye protection to prevent dust and particles entering your eyes. If you are drilling overhead, you may need to use a respirator to prevent inhalation of particles into your nose and mouth, and a face shield to protect your eyes and skin. It is also essential you do not wear gloves, as they may be caught up in the spinning drill bit. Clothing should be close-fitting and hair secured to prevent entanglement. And there may be a need for hearing protection depending on the noise of the drill or the surface you are drilling into. Portable drills are used primarily for site work where flexibility is required. Use a good body posture and balanced footing with a firm grip on the drill. Use smooth and steady pressure and the correct speed when drilling into materials, keeping your hands clear of the drill bit. When using a drill press, ensure the piece you are drilling into is secured. Have a firm grip on the drill handle and use a steady smooth motion. Keep your hands away from rotating parts and near the material you are drilling into. Drills, bits and other attachments must be maintained, stored and transported in good condition and replaced or repaired if damaged in any way. Powered drills are an essential trade tool, but their hazards can be taken for granted. Ensure you take the time to assess the risks choose the right drill for the job and use the correct PPE at all times.